Hughes descended into one of the most bizarre episodes of his life. In December 1957, he told his personal aides that he wanted to screen some movies at a nearby studio called Nosex on Sunset Boulevard. Hughes stayed in the darkened screening room for more than four months, never leaving. He used a telephone to conduct business and ate a diet of chocolate bars and milk. But most of the time, he just sat in his own chair, often naked, watching movies reel after reel, day after day. Hughes issued strict orders to his aides, writing instructions on yellow legal tablets. Do not look at him, do not speak to him, only respond when spoken to. Around Hughes were dozens of boxes of Kleenex, which he continuously stacked and rearranged. There's a famous memo he wrote. It was called the Kleenex Directive. And it was a lengthy memo on uh, how to use Kleenex to protect yourself from germs. And you're supposed to use eight to 10 thicknesses of Kleenex in order to open a doorknob, for instance. As his stay at Nosek stretched into months, Hughes relied more and more on his painkillers. His personal hygiene deteriorated rapidly. But at the same time, he became more and more obsessed with avoiding germs, all manifestations of obsessive compulsive disorder. After four months, Hughes finally emerged from the screening room in the spring of 1958. By then his clothes were soiled and ragged. He hadn't bathed or shaved for months. He was a mess. The once charismatic public figure had become a pathetic recluse. It has been surmised that what happened at Nosex was Hughes was having a, a massive nervous breakdown, but he didn't want to tell anybody, so he kind of, in a way, created his own asylum. After leaving the screening room, Hughes checked into the Beverly Hills Hotel, where he lived in a bungalow for the next few years. He also rented many other rooms for his aides, wife, and various girlfriends. One year, I figured he spent $11 million at that hotel. Imagine. At the hotel, Hughes relapsed into his screening room habits, sitting naked in the dark, covered only by a strategically placed pink hotel napkin. But even as his behavior grew stranger, Hughes somehow kept control of his amazing empire.